you guys, welcome to day two of the 12 days of Christmas in the collab that I am part of. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Christy, Fading Dreams 300, and I hope you enjoy my video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make your own do-it-yourself lush dupe bath bombs. So showing you how to do these bath fizzies that smell really good, they look really good, and they only cost a fraction of what you would pay if you were to go to Lush or any kind of fancy bath shop. Um, but these just cost pennies and most of the ingredients I already had at hand. And yeah, they look pretty good. So you can make bowls that look like this, or if you wanna go the larger one, you can go like that. This is more kind of the Lush bath bomb size. But you can also do just little cubes this was done in ice cube trays or just using cookie cutters. You can make flowers or any other design or shape that you want. And what goes better than with a nice luscious bath than candles or a nice smelling body wash? So I'm also gonna be giving away a $20 Bath and Body Works gift card so you can buy a whole bunch of items to go along with these bath bombs that you're gonna make. Things that you will need are baking soda, citric acid, cornstarch, Epsom salt, water, essential oil, almond or any light kind of oil, and food coloring. Then for molds you can use this Christmas ornament hole or ice cube tray or cookie cutters or then even Easter eggs holders. And then some bowls and measuring cups and measuring spoons. First we're going to mix all of our dry ingredients together. So you need a cup of baking soda, half a cup of citric acid, and you can find this at a health food store or a natural food store like Whole Foods or I actually found mine at a gardening store. And then half a cup of cornstarch and half a cup of Epsom salt and then mix all of these dry ingredients together. Then for our wet ingredients in a little container, we're gonna have three quarters of a teaspoon water and then a teaspoon of essential oil of your choosing. I used vanilla and peppermint in different ones. And then two and a half teaspoons almond oil or you can also use um, safflower oil or any light colored oil. And then a couple drops of food coloring of your choice and mix this up until it kind of all looks together. And then we're gonna add this into the dry ingredient and it will fizz a tiny bit, that's okay, that's supposed to happen. Uh, and then just mix it around. It seems like it's not a lot of water, but you really don't need much or then it's already gonna fizz way too much. So once all that color has evenly distributed, then to check if it's done, grab some in your hand and try to form it. And if it does form in a piece, then, then that's good to go. If it doesn't, then add a little bit more oil, only like a quarter teaspoon at a time. So lay down um, what you're gonna work on a surface and then line your molds with a little bit of that oil. And, just, and then we're gonna start to fill them. So fill them about halfway and then you're gonna push down and it's gonna get even smaller, so about a quarter way then. So just push down and then fill it again and then keep pushing down. Basically you want it to be very compact. So then when it comes out of the mold, it's still gonna take that shape. So basically just keep filling and pushing it down. So we're gonna set that half aside and then we're gonna do the exact same with the other half. So there's two different ways to work with these ball molds. So then I packed a little bit extra on top and then now I'm pressing them together and I'm just going to set it aside to dry. So now this just turn to get it out. Sometimes this can take a little while. I let it dry for about a day. So this one came out other times, right after you packed it in, let it dry for about half an hour and then just twist half of the side and let this dry now for a day pretty much while half of the, it is off. And then when you go to take that second side off, it's gonna be a lot easier. So now it's a day later and the second side just pops off. So it was really easy to do. So that's two different ways. So now we're going to do one using the cookie cutter that's also lined with oil. So put it on some sort of thick surface or hard surface and we're going to pack it in and then just push down. Now you do have to hold the cookie cutter down, otherwise that powder is just going to sneak out the bottom. But as soon as you push down that first layer, then it's, yeah, it's staying in there. So just continue basically what we were doing before, just adding more of the powder in and then pushing it down as you go along. 
So then you can set this down. We're gonna set it aside to dry, but just do one final pat down just to make sure it's really firm in there. And then we're gonna take our ice cube trays and do the exact same thing you've gotten so good at now, putting in the powder and pushing it down and putting in more powder. And then what you can also do if you want to have different colors, then even from this, you don't have to make a whole brand new batch. You can just add a couple extra drops of a different food coloring. I decided to go blue and mix it with your hands, it goes even quicker. And then pour it on in a new ice cube tray, or then you can also just pour it over top and then you get a half and half. So after letting these dry for 24 hours, we're going to pop them out and I found that it works better to push from the bottom and push it out the top. And the ice cube ones, they just nicely fell out and if they don't, you can kind of bang it down a little bit and then it comes out. So we have the two different colors, all solid one, and then the one that I did half and half, you see it's half green and half blue. And then let all of these ones dry for another 24 hours before you package them and start giving them away or using them. So now we're going to put it to the test. We are going to see if it actually works because what is a bath bomb if it doesn't explode and fizz all over your bathtub? So let's give it a try. So here's the bathtub, here's our fizz, and... Smells wonderful. This one is one of the vanilla ones. So I made vanilla and peppermint ones, and I'm gonna make a couple more to give away as gifts to friends and family. But yes, this one is looking wonderful, and it's kind of tinting the water a little bit of blue, because um, this was a blue one, but not that much. And it's a really big bathtub, so it's a lot of water that it has to fill. But you can see the fizziness going on right in that corner. I put it in the deepest part so you can see it best, but yeah, it's still going. So overall, I would say that is successful. We got some fizz going on. It's still going, I can hear it. Um, and it smells really good in the room now. So it takes a little bit of time just for it to dry, but the actual doing time is really quick. And basically you just throw everything together, put it in your mold and wait. So now for the Bath & Body Works gift card, this is a $20 gift card and it's going to be a giveaway on my channel to thank you guys for watching and subscribing and being subscribed to me. But if you are live in a place where they don't have Bath & Body Works or there isn't just one near you, then let me know if you're the winner and instead of sending you this, I will get you a different prize. Um, I'll mail it to you something else or we can discuss what you'd like and I'll buy you something from a website or sell, send you something of mine that I'm going to choose. But yeah, I, I want to make this open internationally and I realize that not everyone has a Bath & Body Works near them, so just let me know if you're the winner. So to enter the giveaway, it is going to be open until the 31st of December. What you have to do is be subscribed to me and like this video, and definitely check out the other 11 girls, actually there's 10 girls, but 11 different videos, part of this 12 Days of Christmas collab, and hopefully you'll subscribe to them as well, show them some love, comment on their videos. Also, I'd love it if you guys followed me on Twitter and Instagram. You don't have to to be entered in this, but yeah, I just love it. My screen name on both of those is the same as my username here, Fading Dreams 300 And to enter, just tell me just some holiday gift ideas that you are giving away to people this year. And hopefully you'll take this into consideration, and if you're able to find the ingredients, citric acid is the only difficult ingredient that's kind of tricky to find, uh, then you will consider this and make this for your friends because you can package them up really prettily and I think they're a perfect gift. So that is it for this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you do give this a try and let me know if you do. And I will see you guys in my next video and make sure to check out the next 10 videos in the 12 Days of Christmas collab that I'm part of. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!